Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So this tutorial is about Azure Cloud and uh, we are going to discuss about Azure Resource Group. So you know we started tutorial on a cloud topic and this will be a continuation of that. So you can check in my channel on the cloud uh, playlist and we also have different playlists for uh, Jenkins or Docker, Kubernetes so you can have a look on that as well if you are interested. So in this tutorial what we will do is we will be talking about what is Azure Resource Manager and uh, what is a resource group, how, how to create resource group, you know how to uh, assign you know a resource uh, into that like uh, how to deploy a VM or something into a resource group, how to manage this resource group and you also can set different uh, tags, logs, those kind of things for resource group so we'll see how to set up the locks in the resource group as well so let's uh, get started on this so uh, first of all I want to talk a little bit about Azure resource manager so it's, it's a pretty simple definition of uh, Azure resource manager and this is coming directly from Microsoft so Azure resource manager is a deployment and managed services uh, for Azure so you can you know control uh, your uh, you know, different kind of resources and you know services deployment those kind of thing as part of Azure resource manager we'll see you know how to use resource group a little bit later so what will do this for like if you are an Azure administrator or your system administrator who using or DevOps engineer who using Azure cloud this Azure resource manager will help you like uh, by providing a management layer which will enables you to create, update, delete resources in your Azure account. Okay? So that is the all uh, benefit of having this resource manager and the main features is like you know you can set up like access control, logs, tag you know to secure and organize your resources after deployment. Okay? So that is the overall purpose of Azure resource manager. So now if you see this uh, pictorial representation, you know, using Azure Resource Manager, you can use all kind of services like whether data store or web apps, virtual machines or, you know, different kind of uh, you know, uh, resources in Azure, right? For all these things, you need authentication that you need to have a proper Azure account and you should have proper rights to do that. Now, usually what we'll do is you go to Azure portal and you can do all these things. At the same time, you know, all these capabilities, what you can do with Azure portal, you can also do it with like Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI or REST, you know, uh, APIs, those kind of things, okay? So that is, uh, you know, the purpose, but you need to have some uh, proper account and authentication for to do that, okay? Now let's talk about Azure Resource Group, okay? So this is uh, pretty important because uh, in Azure, you need to have a resource group and you will have to attach your, you know, your resources into that so you can easily manage it. So as per definition, Azure Resource Group is a container that holds the related resources for Azure solution, okay? So it's more like a container where you can put multiple uh, resources which are related to your uh, solution. So what, uh, you know, as part of the, what we'll do, you decide, it's not like, you know, it, there is a standard definition that you need to put these all VMs into this or all, uh, you know, database into that. It's not like that, it's it's up to you, you are an administrator and you can define or you can design how you want to allocate your resources to your resource group based on what it makes most sense for your organization, okay. So based on your organization needs, you can define your resource group, whether you want to put like, you know, I, I will put all, you know, my VMs into one resource group or I put, you know, some kind of uh, based on my, you know, specific application, I will put all those uh, services into that. So you can decide how you want to do it. But generally what we do is when we create or add resources uh, that share the same life cycle or to the same resource group so that, you know, you can easily deploy or update or delete them as a group okay so for, for if you are having a set of you know uh, services like whether VMs or a database or you know docker containers or kubernetes all those things you know which are related to same life cycle and as part you know, as part of uh, you know same applications or you know same kind of uh, things which you want solution you want to integrate together and it have a same uh, life cycle then easy you put all these things into one resource group so you can you know control them easily okay so now uh, if you see this picture you know you have a different kind of uh, layers you know what we are talking now is the resource group and below it we can 
you know create resources right and on top of it you also have subscription so you need to have a specific subscription from Azure whether it's you know you may see like if you're using a free tire that YouTube will show you like a free tire or maybe you are using pay as you go or you're using office 365 so in the on top of it you can also have management group so that is how the overall uh, structure will happen like you have subscription below you will have resource group and you below you can have your uh, resources like vms or sql database or any kind of resources okay so uh, let, you know, let's get started on how to do this actually on our uh, demo like I'll be using our Azure login and I will do it before that you know if you're new to my channel uh, just uh, like my channel uh, subscribe and share with others so I'm in my Azure uh, portal like you can see portal.azure.com and I'm logged in with my account so uh, no, I have this Azure subscription okay so this is my subscription ID the same way you will have your own subscription ID and you know uh, it will tell what kind of subscription you have whether it's a free service or it's a pay as you go or what kind of service and here you can see all kind of your all resources you created you know you I don't have anything in that I already deleted those if you have you know resource group it will show here you know you can have the app services function app all resources will be listed here you can also search you know uh, from here as well okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create resource group first so you know uh, resource group okay so uh, we, we don't have any resource group so we have to create one what will happen if I want to create a virtual machine with our resource group let's see so let me go to a virtual machine okay and I'm going to create a, a Azure virtual machine Now you can see, you know, uh, when you when I create any you know uh, service from Azure, you know this uh, you know it's it's asked for my subscription and it's also asked for a resource group. So you need to have a resource group which you can attach here, or you need to create a new one if you don't have it. Okay. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll create a resource group so we can use that. Okay. So I will go to create and uh, now it's under my Azure One subscription. If you have multiple subscription you can use wherever you want okay and I will call this as VM underscore Linux so you need to so you can see I think you should not use underscore so you can see Azure Linux okay so that is the uh, resource group name VM hyphen Linux and you can use the region because this is uh, the region is for to save your metadata okay and uh, when you create your uh, other resources like vm or anything you can uh, select uh, you know the separate resource you know your um, region based on that as well if you want to put some tags you can you know put some tags here i don't want to put any tags so i'll just click on uh, review and create so now you can see validation passed and I will click on create okay now you can see uh, the process is succeeded right so I will just close this and you can see our uh, resource uh, group VM hyphen Linux is available okay so if I go to my resources you can see here if I click on it you can see the subscription subscription ID where the location is you know I have not put any tags so you don't have it you can you know delete the resource you know when you delete the resource uh, group whatever uh, inside the resource group like any VMs or anything everything will get deleted okay so you have to be very careful don't delete your resource group because everything under the resource group will be deleted now let me uh, go to create a virtual machine I'll uh, click on create virtual machine and I will select the VM hyphen Linux from here and I will uh, give a name like test uh, Linux machine okay and the region you can select you know it came uh, from the drop down but you know you can decide which one you have to select uh, basically you know each region will have different kind of cost so you can have a look on you know the cost uh, specific for each location for me personally I feel East US will have lowest cost for VMs okay and if you have available options you can select here so uh, I don't need any redundancy it's a standard you know type and I'm going to select you know the send OS image okay you can also select different images from the drop down whether it's Windows or Linux Ubuntu I will go with send OS okay and uh, it's I'll go for 64 uh, 
the basic uh, normal one not arm 64 okay and uh, I will also select which uh, size I need so you can see different uh, you know you'll have different kind of virtual machine you can see all sizes here okay and I will go for the minimum which is the B1S okay uh, if you are using a free tar it, uh, it will be free for 12 months for me uh, the 12 months is over so uh, it's not for free for me okay you can use SSH key or you can use password then you can give a username and password as well okay so I will just give the username and I will give the password here okay so okay okay I think it should be a little bit more so I will use a uh, little bit bigger one okay yep and now the password is accepted and now we can also see like what kind of uh, inbound port so I will allow all SSH connection because this is not uh, good in a general case you know you need to have uh, some kind of restriction bin you can define your uh, rules but now it's a testing VM so I just use a, a connection from SSH so I will just click on review and create so now you can see it's uh, trying to create and it's showing how much you know uh, it will apply like how much cost it will be there and uh, you know I will just click on create okay So you can see the initial deployment is uh, happening so it may take uh, some time to complete the VM creation so we can wait okay. so you'll be getting all this notification here what is happening on the creation so you can see you know it's uh, uh, going through the process so meanwhile I'll just uh, go to the uh, you know, the resource group so you don't see any resource yet because it's still in the process okay so the virtual machine you can also see it's not uh, yet created so I will wait for that to complete now you can see the deployment is completed for the virtual machine so if I go to the virtual machine you can see the uh, virtual machine is already available in the you know on the VMs and if I go to the resource group uh, I should be able to see the virtual machine as well as the network uh, watcher okay so it will this was automatically created as part of uh, you know the virtual machine so whatever is needed to work for the virtual machine to run it will have automatically created now what I want to do is like I want not want uh, you know the resource uh, group to be deleted right so if I go to my res uh, virtual machines VM Linux uh, you know that you can see the you know the test li uh, Linux virtual machine and the IP address those kind of uh, in network interfaces which is also created right so if I go and delete the resource group you can see you know uh, deleting the VM uh, Linux resource group is res uh, reversible right so you know it will delete all you know the resources like uh, you know uh, delete the virtual machine and the scale set as well so it will automatically delete it so what I want to do is I don't want anybody to mistakenly delete the resource group so what you can do is you have an option called locks okay so you can add lock and you can give some name like you know I will put as delete and I will select the lock type as delete and you know so what it will do is like you know if I go and uh, try to delete the you know, resource group if anyone have access to delete it if I go and delete the resource group I will put that vm hyphen linux and if I click on delete you can see the resource group via vm hyphen linux is locked can be deleted right so this will uh, safeguard your resource group and it will not allow you to delete so only the administrator can uh, go and uh, change the lock right so if you are the administrator you can set the lock so that somebody else who, who is working or some other uh, access who have access to delete you know a resource group they will not be able to delete it because the lock is set in the same way like you know you can also set uh, some other lock like you know a read only so you can only read the content so read only is also another lock which can be put into the resource group so anything coming under now in this resource group will be read only and uh, cannot be deleted now if I go and uh, remove these uh, you know, uh, locks 
and if I go back to the resource group again and if I go and delete the resource group if I delete now you can see it say it will delete so you can see you know uh, the deletion uh, resource group uh, is in process right now let's see what it will do because it will uh, delete the resource group now because uh, we have removed the lock and it's uh, in the process of deletion and it, it will delete the VM as well. Now you can see we got the message like the resource group is deleted and you can see if I go to the resource group, uh, we don't see the VM hyphen Linux, right? And if I also go to the virtual machine, the test Linux machine is also gone. Because you know, uh, when you delete the resource group, whatever is uh, resources as part of that will be also deleted. Now we have a different resource group got created here, so we, you can delete that as well if you don't need it. So you can select that and you can delete it. Mm. So as I mentioned, you have to be very careful on deleting the resource group because you know uh, all our all the resources in the resource group will be also deleted, and you can you know map all the resources which are relevant to a solution or you know in the same. Uh, deployment and lifecycle can be put it into this uh, resources uh, group as well so it's a pretty simple tutorial but the, you will get a lot of uh, questions based on the resource group how to lock you know all these uh, questions will come as part of azure a0 a900 or az104 you know uh, exam for azure so you can have a you know clear thorough understanding on uh, azure resource group so that you know and what the structure like uh, management group subscriptions resource group and resources and you know different kind of commands you know with uh, using uh, powershell or azure cli you know or how we create indirectly through azure portal you can do all these things using the command line as well so that is all for this tutorial so uh, i would request you like uh, you know if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my video share and give your uh, comments, uh, give your feedback in the comment section. Okay, so thank you for watching.